Yes, boys, what's going on? It's Mossy HD7 here, and welcome back to a brand new career mode with Crystal Palace. And I know what you're thinking, Mossy, you just started a Freiburg one. But I'll be honest, I wasn't enjoying it. I wanted to do one in the Prem, and this one is going to be, I'm committed to it. There's going to be daily uploads of half six every single day on the weekends. You might get them a little bit earlier, but hopefully that intro has got you absolutely hyped for this career mode because it's going to be fantastic. And I'm looking at this team and I'm thinking, how are they even in 14th place? They've got Henderson, Gay, they've got Mitchell, Ducore, Eze, Elise, Edward. Mate, this team is absolutely insane. The only position I think that we need to improve currently is a left mid position or I'm playing a left cam position and then maybe some backups. Uh, we'll go see how much budget we've got. I think we had around 40 mil. We do. We have 44 mil, which is amazing. Let's have a little look at the Youth Academy. Have we got any good boys in here? We've got Dylan Sloan. He has good potential, but he's not going to do anything. And we've got Alesso Beck as well. Also probably not going to do anything because they're not very good rated. But we'll have a little look at the objectives and then we'll go see who we can sign. But I'm so, so excited for this career mode, boys. This is going to be daily content for all you boys. And everyone's going to love it, I promise you. So what us to sign two players younger than 20. That's easy. Get a streak of 10 games with at least one goal scored. Easy. Crucial to midfielders. That's what we need anyway, so that's perfect. Don't want us to finish mid-table. I'm going for top half of the table. So 10th or higher is what I'm going for. Quarterfinals at FA Cup. Perfect. And then financial. I never really look at financial because I, I just spend what I want. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but boys, we are going to play, be playing gag and pressing. Um, I want the team to be going high up. I want them winning that ball as fast as they can. And I want to get it into the back of the net. I want to be the top goal scorers. And I want this career mode to be fantastic. So go and smash that like button down below. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. And turn those notification bells on. So you never miss a video from Mossy HD7 ever again. And let's go and sign some players. Boys, I've just got a lot of we got a five star, five star. Michael Garner. He's going to England for nine months and he's going to bring back some amazing talent. I wonder who we can bring back. Hopefully someone good. Uh, if you boys have got any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. I am looking to get a cam. Um, but if I, what I'll do, I'll sign a cam this episode and then I'll wait until recording the next episode. So you boys can let me know who to sign for the other positions. Right then boys, I've been going through my players and all of these are in... The last 11 months of their contract uh, i've um done the contracts for all the other players but these ones if somebody comes in for them i'm just going to accept it let them go because i don't see any future for them at the club if they don't then they're all going to walk at the end of the season which i don't usually allow because you i like to sell them but if they want to walk they want to walk i will go over to the transfer hub and i'll show you what players we've got in here we've got brahim diaz who could be an amazing player for us playing in on that left cutting in banging it in we've also got thiago almada we've got farius but these two don't have a game face so i don't think i'm going to sign them then we also have noah lang who i know is not a cam but he can play there it says well it doesn't say there but on an app that i use it says he can play there it's also a left winger, so I think either him or Brahim is going to come in. And then all we need to do is find ourselves a little fullback, either left back or right back, to come in and do the job as a reserve player. Come on. Right then, boys, it's been decided we are going to get Noah Lang because we could get him for a lot cheaper than we can get Brahim Diaz. And I'm not even sure if we'll be able to bring Brahim Diaz in. And we wouldn't have any money left anyway. So we're going to get Lang in. And we've also got this guy called Valentin Gendre. Gendre. Gendre? Oh, it's a bad idea because I can't even say his name. But he's a right back, 23 years old, 72 rated. So he's only two rated lower than Nathaniel Quine. And he's got all the growth. So I feel like we're going to bring him in as a backup as well for the right back we've already got in because he's 27 and we could just rotate the boys. And then I will leave the other money for you boys to make some suggestions down in the comments. And make sure you do because I need to know who to sign, boys. So we're going to go in for Noah Lang straight away. It says around 27 million. So I'm going to offer 25. I'm going to try and be a li little bit cheeky. I'm sure they'll be all right with that though. Come on. 25. They want 34. Ooh, there's no chance we would have got Brahim Diaz. It's a good job we didn't go in for him. Let's try 27 and a half. This should be okay. And it is okay. So we'll take that. We'll negotiate with them. And then we're going to convert him straight to a camp. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Otherwise, he's not going to be playing in his favourite position straight away. And he might not be very happy. Let's whack him on four years. He's got a game face. That is the main thing. And how much will... I don't know how much is a lot 
it's a Premier League club, 50k. I feel like that might be too much, but he's going to be a star player for us. So we'll watch him come in. What do the board think of that? Is that going to be an A? Surely. Noah Lang, it is an A. Of course it is. Of course it is. We'll get Gendre in. Gendre, that's how you say it. Yeah, Gendre. We'll get in at him in. We'll see if we can get him for five. And to be fair, boys, you've only got seven mil to work with. But I'm sure you can do something with it. We might sign, send Adam Wharton on loan because, let's be honest, he wouldn't be here in real life at this start of the season, would he? Because he'd, be, he'd still be at Fingy. Still be at Blackburn Rovers at this current stage in the season. But that's okay. Rotation for Gendre. Very good. How many years? Five, because he's 23. And then, but at the end of those five years, he'll be 28. He might not even stay on that long. We'll see how, see how he gets on. 20k for you, mate. Surely you've got to accept that. Reasonable. Beautiful. There's both signings done, boys, already. So we can go and get straight into the matches. Uh, see how we get on in pre-season as well. And I'll show you what the team's looking like in a second. And then, boys, this is what the team looks like. And if I'm honest, I don't think there's any reason to think why we can't get to maybe even Europa League. I think that we could overperform with this team massively. Definitely top 10 team. The state of this team, like the quality in it. No one's really old. Only Anderson, he's the oldest. And what, he's 27. Same with our right back. This team is going to do bits, boys. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get this season underway. Because they're looking fantastic. And let's just get straight into it. One thing I'm going to show you, boys, as well. We're playing four-minute halves. We're playing ultimate competitive mode on. Player base difficulty on. Game speed is default because if you put that on fast, it messes up your keeper. And then we go to user sliders. Injury frequency has gone to 65, which means my team are going to pick up injuries more frequently. I haven't put the severity up because I don't want to be getting them, them like out for ages because that will ruin the game. But there's not enough injuries in career mode, so I'll whack it on that. If it's still not good enough, I might whack it up a bit more and then I might try and change the severity. But it makes it more fun to actually buy players for your bench and stuff and to have a good squad. Otherwise, you just basically play with your full 11 the whole time. So... Without further ado, let's get the season underway. But his Lang has just been converted to a cam. Let's see if he goes up a rating. He doesn't, but that's okay. At least he says he's a cam now. I've got proper OCD. They have to be playing in the right position. We've also got our first scout coming in. And Austin Randall actually looks good. He looks good as well, but this guy looks like he could be a baller. Max Bate looks good as well. I'll tell you what, Freddie Warren, this, that was perfect. Let's go whack a development plan on the mall. After we sell Remy Matthews. And then we'll get the season on the way. But we're having lots of offers come in. Franca is looking like he's going on loan. So it... Oh no, he's not going to go out. I wanted, I wanted to loan him. Ayu could be on his way out. Matthews, Klein and Whitworth. All on loans and on um, being bought as well. So we will see if any of them go out before the first game. I think one will go out pretty soon. We've got Jack Quills. Morrison, he can happily go out on loan. That does not bother me one little bit. Ayu definitely get sold i don't need him do i and we'll see as we're pro pro approaching sheffield united it's a decent first game to have but if we lose that that is honestly going to put a dagger in my heart if we lose to sheffield united on the first game and players are going out we'll quickly stim past these let's see who went nathaniel klein is out for 1.8 million so we're gonna have a bit more money for you boys to spend which is beautiful just let me know in the comments who you want me to buy Matthias Franca is out on loan to Fulham. Let's hope Fulham actually use him, but he is only 69 rated, so I probably should have sent him to a team that is lower. But no one came in for him. Um, so we've got one more, a loan offer. One year, there we go. Oh, we've got Rodney as well. He can go out on loan. And then Remy Matthews can definitely go because he's 29, 64 rated. He's not going to grow. Nothing's going to be good. Shut up, shut up. You ain't going to play. And boys, the team... We're not the sharpest team, but that's okay. I'm surprised Anderson isn't the captain. I thought he would be, but it is gay. And we're going to see if we can get this season underway with a bang against Sheffield United. I want passing play. I want pressing from the front, from everyone. Let's see if we can go and get a win. Come on, Crystal Palace. The first game as the Eagles manager, the Crystal Palace manager, the Eagles as they are called, and Edward gets us underway. Oh, Edward, sorry, I'm going to keep saying his name wrong. And you boys are going to get frustrated with me. This is perfect. This is, means more. I'm, I'm excited for this career mode, boys. And I hope you boys are too, because we're going to have fun playing it. We are. We're going to be one of the best teams in the Premier League this season. I'm already calling it now. Don't even worry about that. 
I'm telling you. Battered the court. They're just standing off us, boys. This is fine. I mean, it's supposed to be ultimate, but not really playing like it. Eze, can he start us off? He can start us off. And it's 1-0 in the first five minutes. Watch this happen there, then. This is supposed to be ultimate. There was nothing ultimate about that. It was ultimate carnage from us. Just a bit of passing play. Sheffield United didn't even touch the ball. And we just buried it into the back of the net. And we're 1-0 up already. The Eagles are flying. I'm telling you, boys. I'm telling you. Don't judge us. We're going to do bits this season. Trust me. Trust me. Overachieving at its finest. Remember, get on pressing, boys. So we've got to win that ball back high. As they trying to. Were they playing a five-back, Sheffield United? I feel like they do, don't they? Edouard, go on. Beautiful. He's won it. Give it to Eze. And he have two already. Oh, it's a great save. It's a great save. It should be 2-0, though. It should be 2-0, Eze. But I'll let you off. Because you scored before. Dupori from range. Fires it into the crowd. And now we got we got to repeat. we got to repeat. Is Baldock. He's going to get up and down this right like he always does. Can we defend it? Can we defend it? We know what I'm like at defending on this game. Not very good. Ducore deals with it, but then gives it straight back away. Gehi, very good, mate. Give it away. Henderson has to... He's got bailed out there, Gehi, by Henderson. Don't know why he didn't pass it. Chris Wilder, the manager of the Blades. But we are under the cosh here. Under the cosh. Let's see if we can get the ball. There we go. Mitchell, beautiful. To Lang. I'm going to have to change his number because I don't want him to be number 13. It's unlucky for some. Only for some, though. Gehi, come on. Lerma, beautiful. Eze, Edouard. Oh, boys. Back to Elise if you can. We'll just take our time with it, boys. Take our time with it. Lerma, play that. Oh, he's giving it to Baldock. Giving it to Baldock. And now we've got no one back. Anderson. Beautiful, blocks him off, and Munoz deals with it. We're playing a bit dangerously. We are playing a bit dangerously, but you know, it's the first time playing with a new manager. It's expected, but we could be through again here. Eduard Twezzi, Eze. Oh, he's... that last touch was not good enough, which is a shame because he looked like he was through there. Good ball. Beautiful Lerma, plate through. Oh, no, I was pre... I was pressing X to pass it because Lerma wasn't passing it. And then Edouard just decided to pass it again. And it hasn't been the greatest first half. But it is a first half that we are leading 1-0. So you can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. But we need to improve in the second half if we want to stay in it. Because they're peppering. And Sheffield United are going to get us underway. They've had more possession. We've had more shots. In fact, they've only had the one shot. And it was a good save from... Uh, Dean Henderson. So let's hopefully make sure they don't have any more. There's a win and a clean sheet on the first game under the Moss era. Would be fantastic. Eze winning it back. Beautiful. That's why. We, that's what we call the Gegen Press. Ducori. I'm excited to see him. I've only ever used him on Football Manager, and he was a beast then. He's very expensive as well. So let's hope that he performs for the boys, for the Eagles. Here is Ducori now. Gives it to Edward. Oh, Edward, you got to score that. Got to score that. Gehi, beautiful. Just toying with them now. Toying with them. Keep Keeping the ball. Playing it. Eze, through to Elise. Put it across. Oh my god, if that was a cross. Lang had an open net, but it did not go to him. That was well played, though. That was well played. I can't argue with that. Anderson, I, I would love to play his, um, you know, his lo long balls that he does in real life. Oh, that's a mi bis bit of a miscommunication there. Lerma just fires it straight at Lang. And Sheffield United get the ball back. And they're going to score. Oh, how has he put that over? On ultimate, they never miss chances like that. Oh, my God. Ooh, tell you what, boys. I'm thinking the depth isn't actually that good. I don't think the depth is actually that good. Pause. We don't have many players to bring on. Gehi, that's brilliant. And then he gives it away again. Why do I keep doing that? I'll make a great tackle and then give it away. Anderson, brilliant. I've done it again. Just need to get rid of it quicker. Wharton, good pass that was. Out of danger. Mateta. Ducore tries to slip through Raksaki. Ducore again. Oh, they've somehow got the ball in that position. But we'll take it. A 1-0 win on the debut. Only against Sheffield United. But it was a well-worked game. They only really had one shot that threatened the keeper. And it was a good save. Eze with a fifth-minute goal to get the winner. 
And he could have had a second straight after, but he didn't. But it doesn't matter. We get a 1-0, and that is what matters. Another player out, boys. Who is it? Who is it? Jordan AU is out for 4.3 mil. So I'm going to have a little look at how much money you boys have to spend. And I've just seen who we have in our next game as well. It's a London derby between Palace and Arsenal. They drew their first game, so we're actually higher up. You boys have 17 mil to make some signings for me. So you might want to bring in a new centre mid and a new winger so we can send these boys out on loan. Um, that is up to you, though. Let me know down in the comments below. Um, I'll sign anyone you want. We're going to have a bit more, actually, because Ward is going as well. So we're going to have around 18 mil, 19 mil. Let's call it 20 mil, boys. Let's call it 20 mil. Let's call it 20 mil. Actually, no, let's not. Let's not. Let's call it 15 because I've got to pay for wages as well. All right. Whitworth can go out on loan. Rodney can go out on loan. And Ozza. No, I wanted him to go out on loan. So no one is buying him. This is really going to test how good we're going to be in this career mode because... We've got Arsenal, and that's a very tough game. Even though they drew their first game, it's a very tough game for us to be playing. But if anybody can get a result, it's the Mossy Army boys. Let's go and give them a good go. Right, and boys, it's the exact same team going into this game. And if you can see, Munoz has already gone up one rating, so clearly he had a good game. His development plan put him up as well. We've got Chris Kavanagh as the referee. Um, we're at Selhurst Park. This is our first home game of the season. I want to make Selhurst Park a fortress. So let's get the fans up. Let's get the crowd going. And let's get a win. This is going to be the last game of the episode. So I can give you boys a chance to make some signings. And episode 2 will come tomorrow. Episode 3 the next day. Episode 4 the next day. Episode 5 the next day. And we will keep going and keep going and keep going. Come on you Eagles. Make it a fortress. Let's make this place booming. Let's make it so no team in the country, in the world, will want to come here. But this is going to be a very hard game because Arsenal have got a very, very good team. And we don't want we don't want our home to be a laughing stock, which could quite happily happen here. Lise, use the keeper, mate. Use the keeper. I like it. I like your thinking. Gay, what have you got for me? Beautiful. Lerma to Ducore. Beautiful, Elise. Munoz has gone. Oh, tell you what, we've worked that very well. Very quickly. Give it to Lang. He's not where he should be, but that's okay. Edouard to Ezzy. Give... I keep saying his name wrong. One more. Lang. Bang it. Oh, Zinchenko with a very important block. I tell you what, boys. We worked that very well. Started with the keeper. Or we actually started with Elise picking it up. And then passing it to the keeper. But we've got to watch these boys on the break. Because they're fast on the break. We know that. In real life and on in FIFA. And Lerma does very well. And Anderson deals with it. Come on then, boys. Hey, Play it there. Beautiful. Munoz. Can he whip it in? Oh, he can, but Saliba deals with it. That would have been straight on Edward if it got past Saliba. Edward. Stop saying his name, Edward. That, that's not his name. Eze and Munoz win it back beautifully. And that is what we like. Ducore to Lerma. Not sure how I feel about Lerma, but we'll keep using him. Mitchell trying to fire in. It goes all the way to Elise. That wasn't what I wanted. But Eze, one more. Edward bangs it into the back of the net. And we're 1-0 up in the London derby. And I tell you what, boys. We are playing some fantastic football. Premier League champions, maybe? <laughs> Who says no? That was fantastic. I told you this team is so good. I don't know how Roy Hodgson isn't performing with it. Because the team's quality. It's probably because he's playing... Will Hughes in real life. That's probably why. But I think actually Ducore is injured, didn't he? He was one that I wanted at Liverpool. He, he would have been a great signing for us. I feel like he, I think he's a quality player. And he came out of nowhere. I didn't know who he was until he was linked with Liverpool. And then he just... He looks like a very good player. And him and Lerma are holding down the fort at the moment. So let's see if we can keep it going. And this will be a fantastic result. Even if we get a draw against Arsenal. But so far we're winning. And we'll try, and we'll try and keep it like that until the 90th. Lerma can switch this now to Munoz. And that's a great ball. Can he get past Zinchenko? He's probably not going to be able to. So he gives it back to Ducore. Who gives it to Lerma. Who can find Elise. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Make a run. Munoz. He does. He does make a run. A little dink in there. Oh, Saliba again with an important block. Otherwise, another goal for Eduard. But so far, Saliba stopped him from getting the ball twice. It could be 3-0. It could be 3-0. Saliba running forward now to Gabriel Jesus and Anderson with a crucial, crucial tackle to stop the attack. Sometimes you just got to take them. And he did very well. He did very well to take that one. And Ducore just claims it on his chest. 
That's beautiful, mate. There's there's no one around though, so we'll have to play it to Mitchell, and we'll start again. Yeah, he can switch the ball to Munoz. They are. At least he's gone straight away. Beautiful. Where are you, Edward? Where are you? He's getting marked by Saliba again. Olise gives it to Lang. Lang. Edward again. Oh, unlucky. Zinchenko's coming forward and Ducore again. He is performing, man. That's why I wanted him in this team. Munoz. Can he whip it back? Sticks to Lang. Tries to. But Lang can't get there. Lerma waits. Oh, I was trying to tell him to wait, but he kept going. It's half time again. And we're 1 0 up again. And maybe we can. Get another 1-0 win at at home this time as well. Martin Odegaard has had he's literally had three touches. That shows how good Ducore and Lerma are doing. Anderson got booked. Munoz didn't get booked for that foul for some somehow. But we're going to get the game back underway. Edward, the difference maker at half time. And boys, we just need to keep our concentration. This is what I do on career mode. I, I pass it around and then it gets to a point where I lose concentration. I don't pass as much. And then we and then we start playing bad. But here we are straight away. Edouard, Elise, give it to Eze. Eze, bang it with the outside of his boot. I didn't even tell him to do that. But we're 2-0 up at home. We are running riot at Selhurst Park. And Arsenal have no answers. They have no answers for us. We're asking them the questions. But they just don't know. They just don't know. Elise with the assist. And Eze with the goal. But Raya probably should be saving it. But I tell you what. What a start to the season this is going to be if we manage to pull this game off. I tell you what, has Saliba gone off as well? I can't see him. Or is, oh, wait, why are, you, why are you doing that? Gehi, why did you run so far forward? Oh, if we mess up here, it's Gehi's fault. Gehi's fault if we mess up here. But Anderson deals with it very well. But Lang, you need to be getting there as well. No, we're going to concede. Oh, Odegaard's put it wide. That was all from Gehi running way too far forward. And we almost got conceded. But somehow Odegaard missed. And I don't know how because that happened in the last game as well against Sheffield United. Ultimate are missing their chances which doesn't usually happen. What is going on? And what can you do? Find Eze through the middle. Edward's through. Beautiful. Take a touch. Oh, he's tried to give it to Elise. But that's unfortunate. He couldn't get it through. I'll tell you what boys, where are my midfielders at? Where are they at? I brought Munoz inwards. Oh, Odegaard's through now. Anderson trying to deal with it. Offside, referee. Thank you very much. Berardi, that's not going to count, mate, because you're offside. And I'm glad that he was because they picked us apart. Then they made us look like a bunch of schoolboys. Like we didn't know what we were doing. And Henderson, Jesus Christ, mate. Gives it to Eze. Can't find Edward. And here we go now, boys. Here we go. Another counter. Another counter. Edward, put it across the box. That's not where I wanted it. Mitchell, though, manages to pick it up to Lerma. Ducore dinks it over. Edward, back across. Oh, Tommy Asu does very well. Gehi, you have to win that. That was important. Good lad. Lerma into Eze. What a ball. Oh, it could have been 3 0. Let's get some subs on. We've played very, very well this game. We'll put on. What foot it is? Uh, we'll put. Gen Gendre is going to come on as his first ever game as a left back. That's fine. Mateta is going to come on, and that's it for that's it for now. Because I don't Ducor is a little bit tired, but I don't want to take him off because he's the one that's keeping us in this game. As he's going to whip this in, can we get another goal? Mateta off the bench. Can't get it in. Can't get it into the back of the net. You want discipline, but also creativity, and that is what we are doing at the moment. Anderson, that's stupid from me. Why are you diving in? Munoz, Trossard, puts it straight at Henderson, that's okay, we'll claim it, Eze will claim it, gives it to Elise, who maybe can find Mateta, that's a great turn, a great turn, keep going, try and find Lang, he's running through on his own, Lang, can he get his first goal of the season, yes he can, and it's 3-0 at Selhurst Park, Arsenal do not know what's hit them boys, we are absolutely stunning, the world, stunning the Premier League, stunning absolutely everyone. I'm sure Arsenal fans have already started to leave. Mateta, great choice to pass the ball there because Saliba was on him and Lang, with his weaker left foot, even though it's four star, he smashes it into the back of the net. And it's 3-0 against Arsenal. Who would have thought this? Tell you what, Sheffield United was a harder game, boys. Sheffield United was a harder game. If Arsenal want to be winning the league this year, 
I don't think they will be because they've drawn and lost in the first two games. Be interesting to see who they drew against, and that's a great ball from Anderson. Ducore through to Elise. Oh, they just don't want it, boys. They just do not want it. Tell you what. Elise could go all the way here. Oh, he fires it. Great at Raya. And that's it, boys. 3-0. We've played two games. Won both of them. 1-1-0 one, one, and 1-3-0. And I'll tell you what. That is how you do it. Look at me in my little hoodie and my jeans. Arteta's fuming. Mossy's buzzing. First goal for Lang. Ducore performing. Everyone performing. What more can I say? Also, no injuries yet. No injuries. So, let's see what the table looks like. Boys, if we look at the Premier League, we have somehow got to the top of the Premier League. We're the only team that has not conceded a goal yet, which is absolutely fantastic. Because that is not like us at all. We're flying. We've won two. So has Aston Villa. But we are on top by goal difference. I want to see who Arsenal played in their first game and got a draw against. Nottingham Forest. So, Arsenal, you need to have a word with yourself, boys, because you're not performing. But... This has been the first episode of the Crystal Palace career mode and we're going to be back tomorrow for episode 2. If you have enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you never miss a video. I've been Moss 87 and I'll see you all in the week. Peace!